Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create these beautiful text pop-up animations in After Effects. These are very easy to create and looks very professional. So let's begin. Alright, so I am in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. So I am going to call this one main, width and height 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate you can pick whatever you want, duration let's say 20, just click on OK. So we have our composition, first I am going to create a background, so right click new solid and let's make this little bit off white color just like that, just click on OK. So here we have our background, now let's add our shape, so for that I am going to use this rounded rectangle tool, so just click and select this second one. Now you can just simply click and drag and you can see that it will create this shape. Let me just quickly align this to the center using the align panel. Again, you are not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and just enable it. Now we have our shape. Let me just quickly change its color so that we can see what we are doing. Now it's not rounded enough, so we can go inside the rectangle properties and under the rectangle path, we have this roundness and I'm going to just crank this up to all the way whatever i want but in case you want to make this something like that then it's completely up to you let's create it like this now first i'm going to add my text so let's select the text tool just click and let's type my text so i'm going to type hey now it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever font you want i'm using this gotham bold so let's select this and let's quickly align it to the center let's make it anchor point in the center so select this hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool perfect now we have all of these shapes now I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to change its size. So I'm going to first uncheck these properties and let's play around with the size so that this text is properly inside this. So I think this is looking fine. Now we're done with our shape and we are going to add some nice colors to this. So first I'm going to select this and let's select the shape tool. Now instead of fill, I'm going to add a gradient wrap. So just simply click on this fill and from here select this gradient. Now you can see that it will add this beautiful gradient. Now in order to edit this out, you can either click on this or you can just go from here and you can just click over here. But we are going to just tap it over here and now you can pick whatever colors you want. So at the edge, I'm going to add a little bit of this very light yellow and over here I'm going to add the same color but a little bit darker and somewhere around here, I'm going to add this very subtle green. Now it's completely up to you can play around with the position of these colors so in order to do that just simply click on these icons these handles and just simply drag them wherever you want something like this so here we have our shape and i think yeah this is looking good now let's add a very nice glow to the outside uh, to really make this stand out so in order to do that right click and let's go inside layer style and i'm going to add a inner glow and let's open this up so we have it over here so first i'm going to increase the opacity to 100 percent just to see what we are doing and as well things will remain same i'm going to just play around with this size so if i increase this you can see that we are able to see some really nice outline over here and it's completely up to you you can just play around with this size however you want i think this is too much so let's lower this down to something like that perfect now we can play around with the opacity so let me just quickly lower this down something like this perfect so here we have our shape now we are pretty much done with everything, our next step is to animate this. So before we continue, if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page, link for that is in the description and over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want, you can just check this out, link for that is in the description. So let's continue. So first let's animate our text, now the text animation part is completely up to you, you can just create whatever animation you want and if you want to learn about text animations then you can check out this tutorial and in this I have explained how to use animation properties and you can create whatever type of animations you want but for this one I'm going to use a free script or plugin called animation composer which is completely free in case you want you can just download it so just let me just quickly open this up so this is the animation composer and over here I'm going to use a preset which is pre-built so if I scroll down, we have this. So I'm going to just simply double click on this and it will automatically apply it to my text. So now if I play back, you can see we have already applied these animations. Again, if you want to create these animations on your own, then you can check out this tutorial. I have provided all the details which you need in order to create these kind of animations. So let me just quickly move the in point to make this slower or faster, however we want. Yeah, I think this is looking perfect. 
so we are done with this now let me just quickly add a little bit of drop shadow to this so i'm going to select this and let's go to the effects and presets drop shadow and i'm gonna drag it over here so first i'm going to increase the opacity let's increase the softness and let's increase the size now this is up to you if you want to go with this look but i'm just doing this for the reference so let's increase this up softness i'm going to increase this quite a bit now let's decrease the opacity and i think the distance is too much we can play around with the direction as well something like that so yeah i think this is looking fine so this is before and after perfect so we are done with everything let's animate our shape as well so before we animate this, I'm going to select the text layer and I'm going to just parent it to this shape so that both of these animate at the same time. Now let's select this shape and I want this anchor point to be over here. So for that, let's select the move anchor tool and I'm going to just click and drag. Now in case your snapping is off, you can turn this off to just align it to the edge like this. So once you're done with this, we can select this, press S and let's add a keyframe for scale, press R for rotation and let's press U to see everything. Now I'm going to just place these keyframes over here because this is going to be our final look and somewhere over here I'm going to just lower down its scale and I'm going to just make it like that. Now let's select all the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph. In case your graph looks different, make sure you are in the speed graph. Let's select the graph and I'm gonna change it to look something like that so that we have this very nice pop-up. Maybe we can do it like this. Oh yeah, I think this is too much. So let's play around with these values. So something like that. Now I'm going to just place it over here. And let's play around with its position as well. Perfect. Now in the beginning, you can either set the scale to zero like this or you can just play around with whatever you want now there's one more thing that you can do you can also change the track mode of the text so i'm going to select this and over here we have this track mode option now i'm going to pick whip this layer which we have below and i'm going to enable this as well so now our text will be visible only inside this box now again if you are using the older versions of after effects then this options will be changed so you can just search on your own or you can update it so perfect so we have everything and let me just quickly play this out so yeah i think this is looking good let's select this and press u maybe we can just tweak with the scale yeah now it's looking perfect so here we have our text now if you want to add your second text or the second bubble then you can just simply select both of these layers press ctrl d now let's move these layers to the top now first i'm going to select this and i'm going to parent it to the bottom layer and also let's change its track mat to the bottom layer as well now let's enable the bottom layer once again now we can select all of these and you can just place them wherever you want now let's quickly change the text so you can type whatever you want let's type how are you so you can see that now the text is bigger and the box is smaller so we can fix that so let's select the box and instead of increasing its scale i'm going to increase its size so that all of these things will remain in proportion so let's search for size and over here we have the size property so i'm going to just increase the x value something like that now we can select both of these layers and let's move them to the center just to see what we have created like this now again you can play around with these values so i think yeah this is looking perfect so we're done with this now i'm going to select all of them and let's just simply place them wherever we want so somewhere around here now you can see that this is out of this frame but we can animate it to the scene so in order to do that let's add an null object so now i'm going to select these two layers which are not parented to anything so i'm going to just parent them to the null let's select the null and i'm going to press s for scale and p for position let's press u see everything and in the beginning we want just this text so i'm going to just move this away just this one and after that somewhere around here i'm going to start animating it and i want the second text to fit in so for that i'm going to first scale this down and now we can just simply place this somewhere in the middle 
so this is completely up to you you can just randomly do this right now they are in center perfect so you can see we have this sort of animation now we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to just change the graph to look something like that maybe a little bit less so here we have this perfect now i'm going to just make these closers and make these animation a little bit faster so let's place it over here we have the first text and now at somewhere i want the second text to appear perfect so we have everything now i'm going to select this and let's make sure that its anchor point is also over here so let's select the pan anchor tool and i'm going to just click and drag perfect so now if i play back we have the first text and we have the second text now you can change the color of the second text as well so let's select this and let's go to the gradient again you can pick whatever colors you want i'm going to pick these really nice blue colors and over here we can add a little bit of pink perfect so here we have this very beautiful pop-ups again in the same way you can just simply duplicate this again and place it over here and just change the text color whatever you want just keep on animating this and you will have your look so this is how you can create these kind of beautiful text pop-up animations in after effects so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and in case you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one